Hi everybody and welcome back to PE Design 10. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be talking about nodes. So let's get on with it. This is actually a really cool thing that you guys are going to remember. So let's try a just an open line. It's nothing spectacular. I just randomly clicked. It's open. We will leave it as zigzag. And let's do another one. Let's do, uh, how about a curved one instead? Let's do one, two, three points and hit enter. And now we have two, two, two objects. Now they're both open objects. What if we wanted to make them closed or what if we wanted to attach them? How can we do that other than starting all over again? Here's a little trick that you guys will like. The first thing we want to do is go into the select point uh, tools, select point so we go into node mode. Now look at here, that doesn't look like we can do anything. However, if you hold down the alt key when you're selecting, look what happens. The whole thing changes. How cool is that? Now the X's show you where you can attach any point. So you can, I'm left clicking and dragging and watch, I'll zoom in on this one. When I reach here, you see a red box and that's going to join it together. And now it's one piece. Let's do that again with the other piece. And we will be able to make this shape, which was two open shapes, now into a closed shape. So hold down the Alt key, select your point, hold down the Alt key, and your cursor turns to this little hand. Let's drag it over here and let go. And look what happens. Now we have a closed piece and it filled in. It filled in because it's closed. How cool is that? Now, of course, you can right click and you can change everything that you want for the closed shape, but isn't that neat? I, I love it. So you can apply this if you were doing a design and you're working on it and you are doing, say, an open path, something like this, say the roof of a house, and this part of the house was supposed to be a different color. So you went ahead and did it and let's do, hold on, let's pick color. Let's do it in a different color. And you wanted it to be, you know, like this. And it's a terrible roof. Um, we wouldn't have a roof like that here in Canada, but you know what I mean? And then you decide, no, I want it all one shape. Do you start all over again? I mean, there's only four points. You really could. But let's see how this is going to work because we kind of have it overlapped. So let's go to Alt and click. And it looks like we're good there. And this one now, if we go back to, uh, I guess we can do it select points, we can see that it isn't together yet. It just isn't yet. So let's do hold down the Alt key. And now it's going to show me that with this X, that that's the only place it could go. And now look for our red box. That's kind of hard to see. Let go and it's all one shape. Now you can add an outline to it. It filled everything in. It's easy to add an outline to it. Let's go and right. Oh, there is an outline. It was just hard to see. Let's pick another color for the outside outside. So maybe you can see it. I just right clicked on the object to bring that up and look, there you go from an open shape from two open shapes to one closed one. And that's how you do it. Remember to use the alt key. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you find this really helpful and you'll be able to use it when you're digitizing. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.